Oh, yes. I love hip-hop. Um, but my all-time favorite is r and B. I'm the, very much of an r and B slow song type of girl. Um, I definitely love my hip hop too, though, because that's what that's what mostly I work to when I'm dancing. Hip hop, up to date, fast songs. Um, my all time favorite, you know, hip hop artist is Lil Wayne. I love Poppin' Bottles. That's one of my all time favorites with Birdman and Lil Wayne. I still bump that till this day. So I definitely get down with the hip hop music. All right, speaking of hip hop, there's like a new rapper out there right now. Uh, what, what do you think of Brian Pumper and his uh, music right now? Oh, MG! Oh my God, he sucks. I'm sorry, dude. Like uh, Brian, you suck. You need to stick to your day job. He definitely um, is like actually he's making a fool of himself. But um, he's he's good on this other side, but. I definitely think he should kind of hang it up, but only thing I can say he has going for the rap side, I would say, is the Lloyd Banks kind of looking a lot going on with him. So I definitely um, don't, I don't dig the rapping. But um, Brian, if you do want to holler at me on that other side, because um, I, I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Kyle, I know we got Cindy Star on the line. Um, you're making your rounds in the media right now. Um, like, what are your future plans? What are the things you want to accomplish? Um, things I want to accomplish. Um, I definitely um, want to pursue a career in TV, um, in the big screen. I definitely um, see myself succeeding, even getting a reality show at that too. Um, I'm I'm gonna go big with this. I don't, you know, want to just stay in one spot. I want to keep it going higher and higher. So, yes, I definitely want a career. We got Sydney Star on the line, PowTV.net. Uh, why did it take you so long to come out in the media? Because these videos have been out for about, well, I count at least like two, three weeks, maybe even longer. So why did it take you so long to come out? Well, I was basically kind of like letting these motherfuckers get their rocks off, really. I was really kind of just, like, taking it in, looking at everybody, say what they wanted to say, post what they wanted to say, you know, basically keeping these people in suspense because a lot of people were writing, like, why hasn't she spoken on this? Where what, Where is her side, you know? So I basically was letting all these ignorant folk get their rocks off with clowning me, and I was fine with that. So I basically said, now is the time to do me and get myself out there and get people to hear my side of the story now. And I think I'm doing it at the right time. So that that is exactly why I waited. Okay, so you waited a long time, you know, to come out with your side of the story. But there's another person out there that, you know, five seconds later she's putting up a video. Uh, Cat Stacks, like, what do you think about – the way that she's going about doing her thing? Um, I'm going to have to say um, Cat Stacks, to me, I believe that she is she's doing her own thing. She has a way of doing what she wants to do. I don't agree with the way she does what she does, you know, but I, I definitely I don't want to knock her, but I really believe that she could do things in a – better, smarter, you know, way than doing it the way she is. I think she's kind of going cutthroat with it, and I think that's kind of bad. That's real bad. So I really don't agree with the way she, like, puts her stuff out. I, I think she could definitely, she should definitely think about changing that eventually because, honestly, it's not going to get her anywhere. That's in my opinion. But I, I don't hate her. I think she is doing her thing, and I definitely, you know, Say more power to you, Castax. 